Yes, sir. What's popping, good people? It's your boy D Boy Henry Heck back at it again with another video, and we got a spot of news right here in regards to PlayStation and Bungie. The match made in hell has been seeming like. Oh well, recently that's what it's been seeming like. The match made in got their head. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but we got a spot of news in regards to the uh, live service initiative. Um, that Sony PlayStation has implemented now probably about a year or so ago when they closed their deal with Bungie you know initially Bungie was gonna remain independent that of course has changed which I was happy about because as a longtime Destiny enjoyer they had come to start making certain decisions that I just went happy with you know what I mean as a as a as a person who played the game since day one enjoyed all the various dlcs it's, it's a lot of little stuff that they were starting to do inside of the game that kind of turned me away from the game especially as a pvp enjoyer i didn't feel as though i was valued as a gamer and you know so i just went on to 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 search for greener pastures hadn't yet found them yet but uh i went on to search for greener pastures and you know a lot of people thought this was a bad deal to make i still maintain the opinion that it that it is a good it was a good decision it was a good buy though we've not necessarily seen the fruits of it yet you know even though they just dropped their last dlc and it, it scored extremely high it scored extremely high people enjoyed it but with it being labeled as the finale you know a lot of people just jumped in enjoyed it and then it was like okay so this is the end i'm gonna I'm go on by my way though there is this make no mistake though there's tons of people that still play the game tons of people that still play the game um but with that being said we're gonna sit up here and go over this this thread as it were you know from bridget o'neill in regards to the new job title she has received over at sony playstation as far as you know creative over there at 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 uh creative PlayStation Studios creative. I said creative twice like a fool. I don't know what's going on, but new job announcement. I am taking on a new role as senior director of creative at PlayStation Studios, but I am not leaving Bungie. She ain't leaving. She going over here for a little while. She going over here to certain capacity, in certain capacity, but she's still Bungie. Bungie to the death. That's what she's saying. Bungie Creative Studios is joining PlayStation to build the foundation for uh, for a creative team that can support all PlayStation Live service games. And this is some good news. And should it should also put a lot of the uh core fan base of PlayStation at ease since, you know, a lot of people didn't want Sony to pursue the game the gas models because they didn't want certain studios to be relegated to gas studios you know they didn't want their mainstay studios to just be up here messing around with games as a service so this is a spot of good news in in, in that regard because your main studio is still gonna be doing main studio stuff you know we seen what happened with naughty dog though they wasted a ton of ton of time though they wasted a ton of money though they misled the people they wanted to maintain their position as a single store a single player narrative driven uh story game developer you know what i mean Moving on, this opportunity to share our experience working on Bungie titles with other studios that are building live service games is so exciting. So exciting. Live service is hard and comes with a unique set of challenges. So together, we will be able to give a jump start on development for new games. You know, they're going to be giving their, their insight, providing tutelage, you know, a guiding hand, if you will, because like, you can't you can't shit on they wait what they've done with the destiny franchise is awesome ain't, ain't many studios out there that done done this there ain't many they're one of the most premier studios out here in doing this and you know you can say it's a dead game if you want to thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands, and thousands of people are still playing this game right now today i am grateful for the amazing creatives and artists i've had the opportunity to work with at bungie can't wait to make more stuff with you you know she's excited i'm sure you know playstation did they do due diligence as far as like selecting this individual i'm sure 
this individual is is super qualified. I've not looked uh, look into her enough to, to say def definitively. I am going to be doing a little research today as far as figuring out, you know, who exactly she is and where exactly she's, you know, uh, 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 done work and provided input. And, you know, I want to see what her name, her name sits at on the credits. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what she come from, what she about. And optimistically, I think this is an awesome move because if Sony is going to continue to make this push over there to live service, they got to get a handle on live service. You know, everything ain't going to be a home run, of course. You know, they got Hell Divers, they got GT7, they got MLB the show, but they still also have have Concord. They got to they got to they got to wear that. And though Concord was delivered at quality, visually look good, uh performance was good, mechan game mechanics were good shooting felt good movement felt good everything about the game felt good it looked good but certain decisions made toward you know character design and character presentation is where i feel my personal opinion is where i feel the game really fell short you know a lot of people have a lot of excuses about uh the, the genre oversaturate stop it because those same individuals was twerking on the handstand when it came to Deathlock, they was twerking on the handstand when it came to Marvel Rivals. It's not, it wasn't that team shooters or hero based shooters was oversaturated. That's just a lie that people put out there and, you know, tried to make it, make an excuse as to why they really didn't like the game. You know, it should be free to play. Stop it. There are tons of games. That, the X is fine, it's free to play, and they got oats. You ain't playing that, so quit. You know what I mean? But uh, I like this. I like this. I'm ready to see what will come of it. Um, as of right now, we have Destiny Rising on the horizon. We have uh, Fair Games on the horizon. And whatever Sony Bend is working on, also on the horizon. So we got those to look forward to. And now that we have these individuals in these positions who are able to go over there and provide a little more insight as far as what can be done in order to, you know, Get, get players excited you know get them to to turn that game on every day and, and grind it out as they've been doing inside of uh destiny and also marathon we also got that to look forward to so i like the fact that they're taking steps to get people involved you know you, you that's what you really want to see you know you want to see them invested in the future of the games that they're developing you know they they out here they seeing that you know a lot live service games are falling short they are but, you know, I will argue that most games fail. You know, I, that's the argument I'll make. We see tons of single player games come out and fail. But does that mean that they should start making people should start making single player games? Of course not. That don't mean that. You know, so a few live service games. Well, not a few. A bunch of them have failed. Well, live service games fail and don't mean you should stop making them. You know, that just means you should take a step back and reassess your approach to making them. You might they might have to look at a different way as far as introducing live service as i said remnant 2 could very well be presented as a live service game they do it well they constantly keep up with updates patches and they've been dropping dlc even though we just got the last dlc apparently but people are constantly playing that game day in and day out going in and rerunning certain realms and getting these drops and getting this gear and I, they could very well present that game as a looter shooter games as a service but they didn't know but looking at it for what it, what it is and what it's doing, you could, you know, uh, and that's an awesome way of doing it. That is an awesome way of doing it. You present people with a single player store, world building. They're kind of attached to the world and what's going on inside of it. So that lead, that keeps them playing. It keeps them playing. You know what I'm saying? So maybe they need to because even Destiny has a campaign. It's not super long, but they have a campaign. And what that does is that that gives the studio an opportunity to create a, a bond with the game with the player so then they become attached to these characters inside of the game they become attached to these events and they become attached to whatever it is that's going on inside of this which is a mistake with concord that they could have also leveraged by you know what i'm saying they could put out a little, little eight six 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 seven eight hour little campaign get people attached to that world let the, let, let them know what's going on really with the free runners it don't have to be nothing super long. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I like this. Looking forward to more information about it. I am going to do my due, due diligence as far as looking into this individual, seeing what she's about, 
Um, and of course, obviously, you're gonna have the the, the crowd, a certain a certain a certain genre of gaming commentator who's gonna call this a certain thing that it may not be. You know what I mean? But I ain't, I ain't gonna really get into that right now. We just gonna wait and see. Uh, but I'm not gonna drag it on any longer. That's all I got for you right now. I will catch y'all in the next one.